Hey guys, Patrice here with another video. This time this is my empties um, for the week. Um, I got through a bit. Not as much as what I normally do, but I got through a bit. So this is the last empties for the last melting basket. You'll see I'm posting, I'm going to post this video and then I'll post the melting basket. That melting basket, I want, I don't know if I said it in that video because I recorded it a while ago so I could, I was bored and I wanted to chop all the wax. Um, anyways, that will be it for the, uh, my melting, like that project use it up. It is taking me longer than what I thought. So I used my project fall, winter, use it up. It's probably going to be more winter, spring because by the time I'm done all that other wax, it's probably going to be into December to be honest with you because I just made a really big one just to get it used up and I'm going to use everything in it until like it's done so that my whole use it up's done. So anyways, and then I'll start on that next one. So I should have probably did winter, spring, but I didn't think it would take me this long. Um, so we're going to get into it. I got two non-empties. I have a pink sugarberry mint car bar. I don't have a replacement for it because I actually put this in my truck. Um, I drive a work truck all week and I never, <laughs> crazy thing. I never have an air freshener in because I'm like, oh, it's just a work truck. I am in my work truck more like three, four times more than I'm in my car or my vehicle now, my SUV, so why don't I have one? So anyways, I put pink sugar Mary mint into it, so, and I will have to replace the one in my car, so you'll see that next week. Uh, this is Sugar Scrub and Best Berry. I don't think it has the scent notes. This was from the Valentine's Day collection. There's a hair. Um, I don't like their sugar scrubs. <laughs> I've said this before. I like Scentsy, I love their wax, I love their body creams. This, I don't like their sugar scrubs. Um, I don't know if it's just the formula. I don't like how you have to stir it with your finger every time you use it. And I use mine in the shower. I don't know how everyone else uses those, but I use mine in the shower, like when I shave my legs, for my arms, and like dry skin in the summer. Sorry if that's TMI, but, um, so you have to stick your finger and swirl it all the time. Well, water gets in there and the sugar like disintegrate so I feel like I'm wasting it anyways I got one more of these I switched uh, when I got done this I put my winter berry apple tea in it so that's the last one and I won't repurchase I just don't care for them so I'm not big on sugar scrubs anyways but I tried to get into them so anyways that's it for non-empty or non-wax we'll get into my the wax so I got through some Scentsy I got through pink uh, tulips this was from June 2019 I don't know if you guys if I said this in the last one but I went through all of my bars and if I could see the pour date I wrote the exact pour date down so 06 19 is when the pour date was for this so anyways it's crisp apple raspberry and I bloom and jasmine this is okay it's a girly kind of perfumey floral scent I have it in my bedroom right now it's lasting a long time. Like I put this in two days ago. I put, so originally I put two cubes in the room downstairs, the spare room downstairs, one in the bathroom downstairs because it's just a plug-in. And then I have five cubes left and I like to use, and I only have the one plug-in. So I ended up putting three cubes in one of my bedroom warmers and two cubes in the other. It's throwing really good, really good performer. It's nice. If it comes back, would I pick up one? Yes, I'm not gonna hate on it. It's just not um, something I would warm all the time. Really good performer though. Um, Eskimo Kiss from September 2017. This is Polar Bear Hugs. Um, this one's crazy, the pour date. It is like, I, I, I doubt it you guys can see it, but it, no, you can't. But anyways, it's huge. Like, it's really like tall. Like that, that that's crazy. Anyways, I don't have the set notes. I don't. No, I didn't write down the scent notes on this one. I do every one, pretty much. Um, it's, I think, brown sugar and blackberry jam and caramelized something or not. It doesn't smell like any of the scent notes. It's just a very, real. it's just a really nice bedroom scent. Um, again, it's the same as the pink tulips. I don't need more of this really that much. I will pick up one if I'm feeling like it, but it's just not my go-to. 
I don't need bedroom scents. That's the crazy thing. People have like designated bedroom scents like lavenders and pink hay, sugar, all those scents. People love them for their bedroom. I love bakery. I love anything. I warm anything in any of the bedrooms. So I don't need designated. And if it's not going to be strong enough to go through my open concept too, I don't need it. Anyways, this is nice. Not a, like a big performer, like probably about a medium. Um, and lasts. And when I say a few days, it's probably like 15 hours because give or take, it's not full 24 hours, but anyways, it's a, it's nice. Um, cozy cardigan from October, 2018 soft suede blush and rose amber silk. I don't like this. I don't know if I have even more of this. I thought I liked it. It's definitely very that, that suede. I like suede. But I don't like the suede. <laughs> That's crazy. So to me, this is like a really, really feminine version of Woodland Suede, which I love. Woodland Suede is coming back in Bring Back My Bar, I think January, I think we're doing it. Anyways, love that scent. This has the same suede note, but that woodland, like the woods from it, makes it tolerable. This with the rose. I just think there's better ones. Like I like cashmere and corduroy so much better. This is a good performer. This has been downstairs for two days now and it's still not done. So, but just, it, it's not a repurchase. Um, Spun Sugar and Vanilla from the Mixit Collection. I like this one. This was from, February, it was born February, 2020. I like this. I had this in my club and I took it out because I was like, yeah, it's okay. But I like it. It reminds me of something like a, Just one second. Sorry, I thought my cat was into something I wasn't supposed to. It's just a very like caramelized, like a sweet scent. Anyways, I really liked it. It performed pretty good, like a couple days out here in my living room and kitchen. Um, yeah, I would pick more up that if it came back. And I got through to Rio Beach from June 2020 which is Rio Beach is coconut milk, tropical fruit, and tonka bean. This is okay. I don't hate this scent, and I don't love this scent. It's a very sweet tropical fruit, but, like, so sweet, like, coyingly sweet to me. It's funny, like, people would think that that sponge sugar and vanilla would be sweet, but I find this one, like, like so much sweeter um and it's okay it's not it's not a it was like a medium throw for a day for me in my open concept because i did put it through the whole thing because i had enough but it's just not i don't think it's a repurchase so so now to vendor wax um, Britta's The Final Girl, Cupcakes of Tiffany, Strawberry Cotton Candy Frosting. This is really, really good. I love her strawberry oil and her cupcakes. I just love all of her oils pretty much. This was really good and threw really well. I would probably buy this in a loaf next time I've seen it. Britta's Twisted Wonderland, Tea and Cakes, Blackberry Lemon Curd. I love this one too. For tea and cakes being like, it, this one's a good one. It is like, you get that tea and cakes, but that lemon really like, brings it to another level. If I do, do a tea and cakes, I really like it to be lemon in it. So I purchased that one. Um, Ebony Violet Tree Treats, Vanilla Balsam, Vanilla Ice Cream, Pink Sugar. This was just a Vanilla Balsam. Note to me, it's a beautiful one. I really like it. I'd pick up another souffle, but it's just mainly balsam. So if you don't like balsam, I wouldn't get that. Britta's Benny's Coffee, Espresso, Brown Sugar, Zucchini. Another one I'd pick up in a loaf. This threw like crazy. I put this in my bedrooms. Like, you go down this way. I got three bedrooms in there. My bedroom and my son's room and a spare room. Anyways, I put it all through those rooms. This like wafted down the hallway into my living room. 100% going to pick up a loaf in this when she does customs. Um, Ebony Violet, IDKY. Oh, wait. Sorry. I got through two of IDKY 
which is Rashid's a wild one, which is wild berry mousse, cupcakes with Tiffany's, and creamy zucchini bread. This is so good. Her zucchini bread's amazing, and her wild berry mousse is so good too. 100% would pick up more of this. This threw really, really good, and just, ugh. Um, Ebony Violet rocking that thing. Boom Boom and Boardwalk Milo Clouds. This was okay. Her Boom Boom really outshines her Boardwalk Milo Clouds and blends together. But it, it was nice. It just did what it needed to do. I cleaned all of downstairs and I threw this in for while I was cleaning and it didn't last a terribly long time. I don't know if I need to repurchase that. She has better blends for those scents, so. Emily Violet, I-C-Y-M-I, Zucchini Bread, Hot... Do you eat any bread, vanilla bean, marshmallow, and hot cocoa? Um, this one, again, really good. It's just like a creamy vanilla. I didn't get much hot cocoa. This one didn't last very long, so I don't think I'd repurchase it, but it was nice. So I got through two of Britta's Sally's Love Spell, strawberry whipped cream, cotton candy frosting. First time I warmed this, I didn't throw that great. Um, so I was like, oh, I really love the scent. And then the next time I put it in, it threw amazing. So I don't know whether it was just a bad day or what, but that strawberry with the cotton candy frosting. I, I don't like cotton candy frosting scents, but I like this one. I love British cotton candy frosting. So 100% I'd I think I did repurchase this one in the last RTS. So she's just shipping out. Ebony Violet, shake it like a milkshake. Boom Boom, sugar cookies, vanilla ice cream. I love this one. Her Boom Boom mixed with that creaminess just make, takes it to another level. 100% would repurchase more. Um, it only threw probably about eight hours, but that's all I needed it to throw. So, Brita's drinks in bed, flannel sheets, margarita, blackberry. This one didn't throw as good as what I thought it was going to, and I, I don't, I didn't love it as much as what I thought. I love flannel sheets, but I just don't think that margarita blended well with it. So I don't think I'd pick up more of this and it didn't throw as well. So, but it was, it was, it was okay. I didn't hate it, but it just, I don't think I need to need more. Britta's Dean hot apple pie bourbon sauce. This was really good. This was just like a beautiful creamy kind of apple caramel with that bourbon kind of note. Really, really, really good. I would pick up more of that through really well. Emmy Violet, WTW, Blackberry Jam, Butter Cookies, Zucchini Bread. Love this. Throws like crazy. I have more coming whenever the pre order's done. It just, like, my whole house smelt like this. Give it a try, guys. Really good. Um, Britta's Cookie Coma, Peanut Butter Cookies, Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough, Sweet and Creamy. I didn't like this one. Which is kind of shocking. Like, I thought it was a chocolate chip cookie dough. So I was like, oh, I don't want to order any more of that. But then I melted something else, I think, and it had chocolate chip cookie dough. And I liked it. I just don't know. There's something just about the scent that it just didn't mesh very well for me. So, good performer. Just not a repurchase. Bread is Wicked Berry Delight. Zucchini bread, strawberry, cherry, blackberry jam. This one I'm surprised at. Her blackberry jam I don't like. Most no Most blends with it I just don't like. This one, I didn't want it to stop. I don't know what, like, the zucchini bread mixed with these notes. It was just, like, a very good, like, amped up wild berry mousse with zucchini bread. I would pick up more of that. Ebony Violet Sweet Spot, maraschino cherry, fizzy soda, cotton candy frosting. This is a nice scent. It's bright. It's uplifting. It's fizzy. Like, I don't like fizzy soda. But this one, I would probably purchase another souffle of it. It just, it was so juicy and so fizzy and so uplifting. It's so good. IKYFL, fresh baked creamy zucchini bread, sweet pineapples and whipped cream. This one is, it's okay. I don't like pineapple, so I don't know why I bought this, but it was okay. I didn't get a whole lot of pineapple, but I did get some, so I wouldn't repurchase that. Britta's Party Punch, Hawaiian Punch, Blackberry Lemon Curd. I don't like Hawaiian Punch. This one's okay because of that Blackberry and Lemon Curd, but it, I just don't really care for Hawaiian Punch. It's just very sweet, like almost like too coinly sweet. So I don't think I'd repurchase that. And then last is Ebony Violet, Oshila, Georgia Peach, White Clouds, Vanilla Ice Cream. You guys know I love this one. That white cloud, that laundriness with the creaminess, and some of that peach. 
It's so good. My house smells amazing. I love that and I'll always buy that. So anyways, guys, that's it. That's my empties. So that is the last of last melting basket. You'll see the new one tomorrow. And then you won't see a melting basket for until that one's done. So yeah. And towards the end of that melting basket, it's probably going to be like a lot of like Scentsy because it's crazy. Like Scentsy lasts so long in my house and it's just like, why do I keep subjecting myself sometimes to vendor wax when it doesn't throw as well compared to Ven to compared to Scentsy? So, um, I'm going to kind of piggyback off of Patricia here and she got, she does a question on her empties, but I have a question for you guys. If you watch it, what do you expect out of your wax? Like some people like get vendor wax and they said, Oh, four hours and done. That's great. That's enough for me. To me, especially being Canadian ordering from the States, wax is so expensive that if I am putting this in and it's four hours, it is a waste of money to me. Um, so, but some people really like that. They just like frequently change out your wax. So do you change out your wax so frequent you don't care? Like it only lasts six hours because you're going to change it out anyways. Um, do you like Scentsy because it, you can put it in for a couple days and just leave it? Like, what do you, what do you do for your warming and your, so some days, like I really, I really in the mood for vendor wax where it's just like, I put something in and I know by that evening or by that tomorrow that it's going to be done so I can change it. So, but some days it's just like, I know I'm going to be in and out of the house. I'm going to be lazy. So I really want to just put a Scentsy on. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.